Liam here, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Liam Creation Gaming Channel. And for this video, we will be creating a tactical team sheet for the English Premier League title winning Antonio Conte's Chelsea. For more videos like this, please hit the like and subscribe button and hit the bell for future updates. Be sure to watch until the end because I have compiled gameplay highlights of Chelsea playing against Arsenal, showing how the tactics we are just about to create work. Now let's get to it. To create a tactical team sheet on FIFA 19 is a customization setting and on the FIFA 19 menu we will go onto the customize bar and hit team sheets. We intend to create a Chelsea team sheet. Chelsea plays in the English Premier League. We will hit new team sheet and I will name it Antonio Conte after their manager. Antonio Conte is the second manager in English Premier League history to win 13 of his first 16 games in charge. 3-0 down at Arsenal, Conte reverted to a 3-4-3 system familiar to him at former club Juventus and Italy. That tactical change propelled Chelsea on quite a scintillating run that saw Chelsea sit at the top of the table on Christmas Day, a position that has been occupied by eight of the last nine champions of England. Antonio Conte's 3-4-3 system is more of a 5-2-3 formation the shape guarantees five defenders on the back line in defense and having an overload of players on attack ensuring that Chelsea always have a man's spare in space. Now if you're enjoying this tactical creation video kindly hit the like and subscribe button and hit the bell for future updates. Tell me in the comment section below what detail of this video you enjoyed the most. On to the Chelsea team tactics. The Chelsea setup switches to a 5-4-1, dropping back and defending somewhat deep. With David Luiz, the deepest of the players, he has time and space to make good long balls, especially out onto the flanks to start attacks. It should be noted though that sometimes he bursts into the midfield occasionally to start attacks. Chelsea play very wide with minimal crosses into the box. Under the player instructions, Hazard will come back on defence he will come short and get into the box for crosses. Pedro on the other wing will also come back in defense. He will cut inside and get in behind the back line and get into the box for crosses. Higuain will play centrally as the target man and will stay forward. Into the midfield, Kante will stay back on attacks. He will stay on the edge of the box for crosses. He will cover the center with outright aggression, a trait that he is best known for. Jorginho, however, will get forward he will stay on the edge of the box for crosses, he will cover the wing and the center backs will stay back on attacks and will be very aggressive in their interceptions. Under the wing backs Alonso and Azpilicueta, they will both join the attack creating an overload, they will make overlapping runs into the wings and defensively, they will make aggressive interceptions on attempts to get the ball back. That is the team sheet ladies and gentlemen, I will save it. Do you want to save the changes? Yes? Now, I will favorite the team sheet Antonio Conte by hitting the triangle button just to make sure it works in the game. Now, I will put up some compiled highlights of a game I played with this team sheet just to show you how the tactics we just both created for Chelsea work. I hope you enjoy. It's a pretty short journey for most of the Arsenal fans across here to southwest London to Stamford Bridge, the home of Chelsea. And a match that I think always brings out a bit of edge in the supporters and sometimes in the players as well. We've had some pretty fiery games between these two clubs. We certainly have. I mean, thinking way back to the day that they beat us in 91, the only match we lost that season. The ground was a lot different back then, but. Uh, Still, Chelsea are going to be uh, pretty tough opponents today, seven, I think, for Arsenal. Engolo Kante. Number five, Jorginho. Number 11, Pedro. And number 10. Here's the Chelsea lineup. Marcus Alonso starts with Aspilicueta as the fullbacks. Eden Hazard starts with Pedro in the wide positions. Gonzalo Higuain is the sole striker today. Hey, good game. 
Thanks. Good game. Cheers. Good luck. This is the Arsenal lineup. Looking at the lineup, he's got all the components in place, hasn't he? The manager for the pressing style of play has been a feature of his team. Yep, and uh, many an opponent has found it difficult to cope with. If your touch isn't spot on against this aggressive type of closing down, you're going to lose it in dangerous areas. Thank you, Stamford Bridge. Enjoy the game. And the referee gets the game going. London derby, Chelsea against Arsenal. Cahill. David Luiz. That's across the field to try and switch the play. Jorginho. Now with Marcus Alonso. Oh, that's good defending. Now Mkhitaryan. Pedro. Cahill. David Luiz. Here's a chance to just stretch the opposition with a bit of width. Some options now for the pass. Hazard! The defender's done very well there to stop the cross. Mesut Ozil. Lacazette. Now Rudiger. David Luiz. Now wide to Pedro. Higuain. Must take the lead here! work from the keeper Manny Chaka Obama Yang Chaka looking for an opening with some good control build up that's his game isn't it intercepting Got a man out wide. This is his game, his situation. Aiden Hazard. Here's the chance. It's a drive and some power, but off target. Yeah, and look, he didn't quite get set for that one. Well, they are clubs from uh, the capital of England, London clubs, but there are other rivals, of course. But it's, it's not the derby for Arsenal, is it? But it's certainly a, a special game and a special game for Chelsea. Yeah, I think for Arsenal, it's a great barometer of where they are and what kind of season that they'll have if they can beat a Chelsea team. I know the, the poor technique there. yellow and the referee showing no early mercy here yeah not an ideal one that for the player he'll have to be careful with his challenges now okay, well away from goal Mesut Ozil I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it well that's gone back to the goalkeeper Out into the wide areas now. Pedro, good position for the cross. And defended with great organisation to get possession back after being under pressure for some time. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Kamani Chaka, Aubameyang. There's a bit of space here for Aubameyang.
really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. Cahill, here's Antonio Rudiger, David Luiz, Marcos Alonso. They spread it out wide here, chance to get some width into this attack. Here's Conte, Pedro, and here's the shot. A corner for Chelsea. Corner taken by Aiden Hazard, and they get it away. That's Philippe Guetta. Now this looks promising. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. Referee is pointed to the spot. Whoa, that might change the complexion of this match. What a chance now! Well, that was a lazy challenge and it might end up costing his team the match here. Well, that's risky going in like that. Well, he is a forthright type of a character and he doesn't hold back in those kind of challenges. be a throw and no nonsense clearance from the defender Mesut Ozil Henrik Mkhitaryan and that is going to be a minimum of three minutes to be played of added time a chance to break away now on the counter. Pedro, time to get the ball in. Kamani Chaka. Mesut Ozil. Aubameyang. Advancing here is Aubameyang. Chaka. So it's half time and we're still waiting for that first goal. Half time, really ignore the scoreline. It's the red card that will be the main talking point in both dressing rooms. Yeah, and who knows from the end of this match, that might be the decisive factor. It quite often is. Ready to go in the second half. From London, from South West London, Stamford Bridge, Chelsea against Arsenal. Haven't seen too many mistakes at all from either set of players. Will that be able to continue? Really tussling for the ball here. Now Rudiger. Marcos Alonso. Here's Antonio Rudiger. David Luiz. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider area. Well, that's over the top of the defender and one to chase. Made sure the pass wasn't completed. In powerfully there. Well, there's one for him to chase in behind. Pedro. They've shown him the inside and he's... Big way in! Chelsea have done it. They've made the breakthrough here. There hasn't been too much to separate these sides, but there is now... He took the chance with absolute precision, Alan. Wasn't an easy one either, that Martin, but he made it look so. The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken.
Chelsea in front. Now Mkhitaryan. Hazard. Conte. Well, suddenly they could be on the counter-attack. The football in behind from Pedro. Aspilicueta. Keeper's ball. No question about that. It's a weak cross, really. David Luiz. Now a chance to get a bit of width into this attack. Aspilicueta. Conte. Higuain and Gola Conte still passing but not really making inroads it's going to be a substitution for Arsenal here's Antonio Rudiger David Luiz he's having a ball with the ball Alan. yeah he's doing all sorts of things with it for his team he's, uh, he's really an important member Higuain it's in fine moment for them they've got a firmer grip on the game now they're two ahead. Well, he's doubled up here with his second goal. And he took it in excellent style, just like the first one. Let's have another peek at that goal. for Chelsea coming off the pitch and no to be replaced by number 22 just widen the margin here to 2 0 striker striker really Gonzalo Higuain a big big part of this particular game and the performance from his team well you can see from the graphic how busy he's been around that 18 yard box really has kept the keeper busy and got some reward too Arsenal about to make a change. David Luiz. Cahill. And that's a cross the field to try and switch the play. And they're looking good when they get the ball out wide, as they've done here. Conte. Here's Antonio Rudiger. Angola Conte. Mateo Kovacic. That's Filiqueta. David Luis. Looking for an opening with some good control builder. That's good support play from his teammates. That's Filiqueta. On to Kovacic. The break is definitely on. Not really away from the threat here. Here's Antonio Rudiger. Still 20 minutes to go. That's Filiqueta. Higuain. He's got a chance to cross. Here's Conte. Kovacic. Possession is the name of the game for this team. Here's Antonio Rudiger. Conte. Kovacic. Higuain. Well, they've all gone to the defender to say well done. But I think the guy who had the chance really should have scored. Well, he had the chance to uh, get his shot away. Even though he had to take it quickly. Should have done better.
Well, the rain seems to be getting far worse now, but I can only congratulate the players. They're not complaining, they're just getting on with it. Well, they've got no choice, have they? But the ref having a little glance at the darkening skies, and he might have a decision to make soon. Mesut Ozil. It won't be. Arsenal couldn't keep it. Well, you have to play it the way you're facing sometimes, even if you're facing your goalkeeper all that distance away. Now, this is an interesting attack. Goalkeeper can get the ball here for his goal kick. It's Chelsea's day, and those who've come to support them recognise that. They're singing, singing their hearts out. Yeah, they've had terrific support out here today, and it's going to be a, a really good win. Now Rudiger. Mateo Kovacic. Conte. Great ball. William. Good width. Higuain. Very sharp. Reaction save from close in. It will be. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. Mateo Kovacic. Chelsea trying to manage this match, this situation in which they have the lead against Arsenal. They're doing well, their senior players are important in this situation. Filiqueta. Plenty of width for the team to attack into. How did he save that? Uh, he's one of the best in the business for those kind of situations. Absolutely brilliant. It's going to be Chelsea's corner. Coming onto the pitch, number 27, Andreas Christensen. Lacazette. Now Mkhitaryan. Nice bit of footwork from the attacker. It will be! Goal! Well, they cut the margin by one, but all you can say is, well, well done for trying at this late stage. Eventually, the keeper has to pick the ball out of his net. He's done so well in repelling everything else, but this one was too much for him. Well, he's a super keeper, but he's not superman, is he? He just cannot expect him to keep stopping those shots. Off we go again, 2-1. It's been a thrilling contest, this. And we're into the last knockings of it. And the supporters, well, they're not showing any sign of losing their stamina. They've been great. Yeah, always love coming to this ground. One of the best atmospheres around. They've not disappointed. Strong challenge. Better than this if they're going to make progress, couldn't it straight away? Like it has indicated, careless there. Of three minutes of the keep time. the ball here under some pressure. Now Rudiger, David Lewis, and the ball knocked away long, trying to get the ball in behind. The delivery from William. Finish from this very talented Belgian. Great quality in that Chelsea goal. It's come in from a long way out, and from that angle, it's not always easy to finish. Defenders caught out by it in the end, and that's a goal well worth analysing again. Three one it is now the score now. Chelsea, number ten. Cosciani. Lacazette. Alex Iwobi. 
there's the final whistle. It's a win for Chelsea. Well, that's it. It's over, and it became a bit of a stroll in the park with the extra players. Yeah, they really did make the ball do the work, and the losers trudging off will be absolutely exhausted, I'm sure. What a brilliant performance from this fella. Well, so often we think of his creative abilities, but a couple of goals here have won the match for his team. Well, they are clubs. A poor technique there. Is the name of the game at the moment. Referee is pointed to the spot. Whoa, that might change the complexion of this match. They've shown him the inside and he's taken. Big lead! Chelsea have done it. They've made the breakthrough here. There hasn't been too much to separate these sides, but there is now. Ball with the ball, Alan. Yeah, he's doing all sorts of things with it. Three. Higuain. It's in. Fine moment for them. They've got a firmer grip on the game now. They're two ahead. Now Mickey Tarian. Nice bit of footwork from the attacker. It will be goal. Well, they cut the margin by one. But all you can say is, well, well done. The delivery from William. Hazard! It's a fine finish from this very talented Belgian. Ladies and gentlemen, 3-1 is how the London derby between Chelsea and Arsenal played out. David Luiz made quite some beautiful long balls, many of which started attack after attack with both wingbacks creating an overload on the wings. Hazard missed a penalty in the opening half but made amends ending the game at a high with a goal right at the end to make it 3-1. The five defenders at the back were quite a bother for Arsenal to break down, stuck together well creating no space for them to come into the 18-yard box. Higuain was quite clinical in the first half, notching two goals from two shots to put Chelsea ahead. A bit of a game of football replicating Antonio Conte's title-winning Chelsea. If you enjoyed this video, kindly hit the like and subscribe button, hit the bell for future updates. I will embark on my career mode series and believe me when I say it will be just as tactical as this. Until next time people. Goodbye.